What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Watois. Today, today, today. Hey, yo, skirt, skirt, man. Check this out. Yo, Watois, family, we got a video today. It's, it's talking about, uh, it's, uh, okay, it's called uh, Shah Azari, Azar Rashid accepts Christian challenge, drinks poison at a debate in Manchester University. So it was, uh, okay, it was, it was basically, Okay, it was a Muslim versus a Christian debate, and uh, oh my gosh, uh, it was a Muslim that drank poison just to show that his faith in Islam. Whoa! All right, let's get into it. Now, remember, this is your first time on the channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Watois family. Also, before we get started, started, put a like on this video. Remember, if, hold on, before we even get started, guys, do not try none of this at home. Okay, don't try none of this at home. This is. Before the video even gets started, this is not the proper way to prove to anyone, anyone that your religion is real or your religion is the strongest or your religion is the best. Do not do this. Don't practice this. This is not good. There's other ways to prove to people that you have strong faith in your religion, but this is definitely not. Don't risk your life doing this, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get into the video. What the just in regards to the poison, quickly. Yeah, I was going to respond to well. that. Sorry, just in regards to the poison, um, as I said, that that isn't in the earliest manuscript, so the poison uh, doesn't uh, work. And also in regards to, but even if it was in the earliest manuscripts, okay, you can respond. <laughs> um, I would love to know. I've, I would love to know actually if you can drink that poison, because remember, guys, what Muhammad says: just drink the poison, get a date. It should help you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's right, it says that. <laughs> okay. Date? Can someone go and get a date? And also, can That's someone right. check if it is poison or not? <laughs> right, I think we should leave that, leave that there. Uh, I don't know what the public liability is so, like here, Hamza. So, um, I'm feeling a bit. <laughs> right. Um, so of course someone okay. needs to question if that is poison or some deception is going there or uh, not. Sure. We will check that. Last right. Question. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we've just got a time as well. Um, we'll. We'll get that checked in the labs shortly. We've got a question down here, uh, and then we're going to we're rapidly moving to close now. I, I can see a few more hands. We'll try to get through as many as we can. I'm going to limit the. I'm going to limit the responses to two minutes now because we want to finish just around nine o'clock. Put a question here. Okay. Um, the Sheikh was going to prove that he is the real lover of Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. Okay. Um, with regard to what Caleb said, that uh, it was an honor for people to die for the sake of someone else in previous cultures and it's no longer honorable, then that would mean you should accept the marriage of Aisha Radiallahu because it was a cultural accepted fact, fact at that time and it's not accepted anymore. Additional to that, uh, you mentioned uh, a few more points, but I cannot remember that maybe the poison is taking its effect. <laughs> I said Is it real? That I do you see it's a matter of faith. This is a matter of faith. Yeah. So you're uh, saying it's real? Uh, basically um, we had Ali there for you to cure and poison to drink. Now you said that you do not believe those verses are a part of the Bible. Yes? So you're telling us to believe in a Bible which has verses that you yourself do not believe in. Meaning, what, what kind of religion is this that some, one group of people are saying these are verses from God and another group of Christians are saying that these are not verses from so God? This is a, a, a contradiction. So, so the Quran says, do you believe in some of the book and reject some of the book? So this is a big problem for Muslims because we accept all the Quran from beginning to end. But you have just acknowledged that this uh, aspect is not from the Bible. So to conclude, the reason why a person should be a Muslim is because in Islam we have true belief in a monotheistic transcendent God, and, uh, which is a perfect uh, absolute being. And if anyone believes in a human being, a man-god, a demigod, they are in fact falling into paganism and a way. All right. Yo, with our family, get down to the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. Also, if you have a video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section. Post the link and I will get to it. 
Guys, I'm going to just go ahead and say this right there. That wasn't poison. No way. All right, that wasn't poison. So, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, don't ever have to prove to someone that your religion is the, the true religion or the best religion or, or try to convince people to join your religion by risking your life like this. Don't put your life at risk. Don't do things like this. Please do not do this at home. This is not, like I said, I don't believe that, that I don't think that was real poison. That was definitely not real poison. But I think what they were trying to, you know, show is that there is like some verses or what, you know, whatnot from the, <clears throat> from the Quran that talk about, you know, being able to, you know, take poison in and, you know, of course, having faith and not feeling any effects from it. But what I do know is that there's no way that these guys, his friends, will allow him to really, truly, really take, you know, take poison. Come on now, let's be honest. There's no way. Even, even, even my strong belief in Islam, there's no way I'm going to sit right here and be like, and watch my, and watch my brother take some poison. Like, yeah, man, we got to make sure we, we let everybody else know that Islam's the best. I'm like, yeah, man, let's do it. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I see him taking poison. I'm like, hold on, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't sign up for all this now. Hold up now. I ain't sign up for all this. Put that down. Put that down. Because your mom and your dad, they believed in me. They trusted me. And they will be mad if they saw me sitting right here and saw you just taking poison in. And this ain't nothing. So, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it was real. There's no way that his friends sitting next to him will sit there calmly and let him just take poison. No. I think it was just... They were just trying to show, you know... I think they were just trying to prove a point, but not actually do the deed but just prove a point in a sense you know because this is a debate but there's no reason to risk your life guys like i said if this was real i would say do not do this at home still do not do this at home this is not there's never a reason to risk your life as far as to um prove a point you know don't do this um but i do have respect for you know the panel uh the islam side and the uh, Christian side, I do have respect for both sides as far as them being able to debate and for them to feel strongly about their religion to the point where they are willing to go to them extremes to prove, you know, that their, you know, religion is valid. So I do respect them for that point, but, you know, or, you know, that magnitude, but just not as far as actually risking your life as far as like, yeah, I'm going to, you know, take poison. It just doesn't make any sense, man. So, like I said, guys, stay safe out there. Do not do stuff like this. It's not good. It's not cool. It's not the right way to, you know, show people that, you know, or it doesn't even have to be about religion. Just to prove a point in any way. There's no reason. There's no reason. Okay, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Watwai. Like I said, get down the comment section, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Now, mind you, I might be wrong. So, if I'm wrong, get down in the comment section and let me know. If that was real, then let me know if it was real. Because at the end of the day, guys, I don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not up here to be talking and saying, oh, like, act like I, I know it all or anything, guys. I have been wrong multiple times in the past. I'm all, you know what I'm saying? I've been wrong. So it's not like I'm sitting here saying, like, yeah, I'm always right. No. I've been wrong. So if I'm wrong, definitely correct me. You know what I'm saying? Definitely correct me. That's why we're with Twa family, because we have people as a family to be able to say, you know what, Mr. Watois, I know you're wrong. This was, you know, this is what it is. And then, you know, I learned from my mistakes. So other than that, guys, I will see you tomorrow, inshallah. So please take care. Mwah. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Watois family. And before you leave the video, put a like on the video. Guys, I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Take care. Mwah. Stay safe. Watois!